Good evening Andy, thank you for joining us. Uh, unfortunately we went uh, and succumbed to a 2-1 defeat at home to Ultracom today. Um, Andy, for whatever reason we just seemed to lack that bit of spark today in attack and couldn't quite find our rhythm and things didn't really fall for us either today. Yeah, I would say that. I, I think we matched them in for long periods. There wasn't a great deal in the game. Um, we didn't have enough quality in the final third, I would say, whether that was spark or whatever, I don't know. Um, and ultimately we've come up short, which is disappointing after the back of two good away wins. Uh, but we said it's fine margins and we've come the wrong side today. Um, so it is disappointing. Um, and obviously we've got to put it right. At 1-0 we were pushing on. It's always likely to leave little gaps at the back, isn't it? And uh, potentially concede that second, which we did. But to be fair, great response from the lads after that as well. And a good goal from Dan. Yeah, I mean, the goal, the, I don't think we played badly today, I don't think we were great, but the disappointing thing for me is we've conceded two awful goals. Um, the first one, by all, you know, we've got to defend it better. Luke knows that, he's been brilliant, he's held his hand up, he's, he's, got, he's got to do better. Um, and then we all say stay in game, stay in game, stay in game, because that then, in the last few minutes when Dan scored a great header, should have got us a point, but with the fact we switched off from a set piece, and we lost first contact and second contact, it became 2 0. Again, that's not a goal we normally concede. So I'm disappointed with the goals we conceded because I'd like to think on a performance like that, yes, we've not created loads, but at worst, you get a 0 0. Yeah, sure. Um, I personally, I'm reflecting on this as a bit of a mixed bag today. I don't know about you, Andy, but we seem to have, have done some good things well, you know, obviously, some things well throughout the game. Um, we ultimately have lost the game, but we've shown great resilience equally, which is the mark hallmark of your team. Um, but we've also picked up a nasty injury to Manashi Sundari as well. Yeah, it's been it's been a bad week for injuries because obviously Kyle Lissamore picked up a nasty one the other day. We're waiting for results on that, and obviously Nashi who's been fantastic, picked up one today, so that's not good. Obviously, on top of that, we've got Kells who's been out a long while now. Um, Willits who's out, obviously. Fletch who's out, Finney who's been out, Callum Mollett who's been out. So we've had a lot of injuries and that's not a sob story because we've still got enough players to come in um, but ultimately it does catch up with you a little bit. Uh, but that, that's you know that's irrelevant to a degree because we still have enough good players out there to get something out of the game. Um, and I'm disappointed we haven't and I think I've just said the reasons why we didn't. We switched off and we didn't defend well enough and they're the sort of games for me if you can't win them you don't lose them. Speaking of good players, um, Dan Creaney comes on, gets two in two. Uh, great header, great reflex uh, adjustment there to get that from, flashed over from George Morrison, I think. Um, he must be banging on your door saying, Gaffer, I want to start games. But how difficult must it be for you to be able to manage that within the squad? Yeah, it's tough because we've got a lot of good players who want to play. There's others not getting any minutes who, who are plenty good enough to play. But, you know, we've, we've lost the game today. I'm, I'm always one for keeping things pretty much the same if we've done well and we've won games. We haven't won today, so we've got a week's training. We'll look at all the different options. And Dan's right up there. I'm pleased for him because he scored two in two. And obviously he didn't score as many goals last year as he'd have liked to after the year before. And he started this season well, we didn't score, Chris came on and scored, so it made it an easy decision. At that time we were trying to for, find a formula to win some games. Uh, like I said, Crean's come on the other night and scored, which is great, but we are winning games, so I didn't change it literally for that reason as much as anything, because you know, I think the performance has been good in general for the whole team. But like I said, he's knocking on my door, as is Tonksy, he keeps coming and adding, and, and that's what I want. Um, and it's up to them boys to train well this week, and we can look at it all again for next week. Yeah, probably worth a special mention for Tom Tonks. What a week for Tom Tonks. Yeah, I mean, he's got a part to play, that's a fact. Um, and what he does, he, he brings loads of quality with his set-piece delivery and also obviously his throwing. Uh, and he wants to do well. And the likes of him and Crean's then, they're, they're disappointed when they're not playing. And I want them all to be like that because I don't want players here who don't want to play. You know, I've been to clubs before where people, if they play great, if not, they're not bothered. Tonksy and Creaney epitomise what we're all about. They're, they're few, they don't want to speak to me because they're not playing. I want that. And there's others like Beck like Ray. He can't get on the pitch at the minute. They're all waiting their chance. And I know as a footballer you want to play. You train twice a week. You know, we're part-time. Whether you're part-time, full-time, you train twice a week. You put everything in and you're there on a Saturday. But ultimately, you want to play. Um, and they're all knocking my door. And that's I want that. I want to knock at my door. I want to ring me up saying I want to get in this team because they're hungry. And that's, that's a good thing. Of course, yeah. So, um, is it a bit of a blessing, I suppose, there's no midweek game, we've got those uh, training sessions and some walking wounded, obviously, and a um, bit of R&R, &R, but also a chance to get the players on the pitch and, and work on what we need to. Yeah, I think it's a blessing, absolutely. We've had three tough games this week, we've come on, out on top in two of them and not today, um, and you can make all the excuses, I'm disappointed with the way we've conceded the goals, but I think 
some of the boys must have probably been feeling a little bit, you know, Saturday, Tuesday, two long trips, and then today, it does take it out of you. Um, and that's not an excuse, that's a fact. Um, so I don't think it'll hurt anyone to have a, a couple of training sessions, get some work done, get some info, which I've got on Halifax. And like I said, you know, we're going to have little setbacks along the way. It's still our goal is to be where we want to be at the end of the season. I still feel we're in a good position. Um, uh, and like I said, I don't go overboard when we win, and I'm certainly not going to be the same. You know, I'm not going to go overboard today because we've lost. It. There's no point. You can't get too high, and equally, you can't get too low. Yes, it has to hurt. Will it spoil more Saturday? Yeah, it will, and Sunday. But it, equally, we've got to regroup. We go again Tuesday, and look forward to next Saturday. And uh, next Saturday is when we'll catch up with you again, Andy. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Cheers.